Hi YouTube. I don't know if you guys can hear me good enough or if you're hearing the TV in the background. I apologize. I'll know when I edit this video. Anyway, I wanted to come in. It's been a while. Say Happy New Year, everybody. There's a lot going on on YouTube right now in the natural hair community. Um, some really good, some a little bit crazy. So I wanted to make my video today to talk about my hair and why I haven't been doing as many videos as I thought I would be doing. And that is probably because of, I hate to sound like a broken record, but the heat damage, heat damage, heat damage, that's what I've been, been saying. But I wanted to come on today because um, I think that I've, I've realized something big about my hair. I think that ever since I big chop and first straightened it, um, I've straightened my hair. I big chop in April 17th, 2010, and then I like immediately straightened my hair. And this before I ever even knew what YouTube was, I kind of cut my hair. Off. And then when I found YouTube, I started doing different styles that didn't have heat involved. But I did straighten my hair probably two or three times before the time when I straightened it in November. And it got completely heat damaged, completely straight like crazy. But I think that every time I've straightened my hair, I have been uh, changing its texture. And whether you want to say damaged or whatever, I don't think that everybody's hair reacts like mine. But what I'm realizing about my hair is that uh, when I when I straighten it, it doesn't go back. And the real reason why I really think I know that, and this is not my real texture, is because um, now that my hair is starting to grow in, so it's been a couple months since I straightened it, like in November, and it got really, really damaged. Um, and I have like, I have a little afro underneath here. Like, it's like, here's the hair, and even, even back here, you know, there's two different textures. So if my hair is growing in and it's a different texture, and I have that same line of demarcation. So, and you can see, I don't know if you can see it that well. It's kind of hard, right? Like, to find it sometimes. But like, for instance, this, this is a coil out. This is like my second day. But you can see on this, maybe you can, hopefully, like, down at the bottom. Oh, hold on, there's some water. Yes, can I help you? Okay, back to what I'm saying. So, I think that you can see, let me see if I can get a place where you can see easily, kind of my new, you can see probably, I probably had three quarters, half to three quarters of an inch. You can kind of see here, that's the curl pattern that's growing in. And then it's very different, especially like up here on the ends. It's very straight. You can kind of see there. That's one texture. So I have probably a good, I don't know how much that is, and three quarters of an inch Mommy, of one texture. Out. Excuse me. Okay, it's going to be a whole lot of editing, I guess, or maybe just look crazy. So, the joy of being a mother. So, again, all I'm trying to do, I don't know if you can see it or not, is show the difference between my hair down here and this stuff up here. This is a coil out, so it doesn't look exactly like this. Um, you know, if I just like put gel in it or whatever. But the point is, it's not my hair texture. So at the end of the day, what I realize is that I am, once again, transitioning. And I think that I've been really upset about that fact. Like, I thought, I thought that I'd just be like, okay, I'm waiting it out. I'm going to cut off the heat damage. But, I'm essentially, I'm just transitioning. I, the, I think the styles that would work for people who are transitioning, for the most part, you know, would work for me. As if I'm growing out a texturizer. That's exactly what I'm doing. So, the question is, do I just cut my hair off? Or do I, um, do I just uh, transition and slowly cut it off? Or whatever. I, um... Don't want to cut my hair off. I'm not that big on length, and I really liked, I really enjoyed having short hair, but I'm just so like, 
Like now I'm getting to the point where actually a twist, if I take my hair and I twist it around itself, you know, just do a regular two-strand twist, it'll stay. And that's very exciting for me. And like other things, just with the more length, I can do more stuff with my hair. And my hair is not damaged to the point, or straight to the point where I would call it a relaxer. But it's definitely like, if I have to text, uh, say the texture or whatever, is 3C. And I don't really know what is growing in underneath. But it's different. You can, I don't know if you can tell. If anybody comments on this video, let me know if you can tell. You can see like the different, the different texture growing in literally underneath and then seeing and then I tried to take a picture of it. So, anyway. So that's me. That's my hair. Um, I'll come back and probably, I just haven't even wanted to talk about like regimen things that I'm doing. Like, cause I just don't feel like it applies to my natural hair it's probably not a good way to think because um i'm using some products that i really really like and i'm wearing my hair curly and it's curly enough where i don't think anybody would think that i have a um, relaxer so um, i don't know i didn't really know how to take care of my hair with a relaxer so but uh, things are working for my hair it's growing it's, it's doing well it's just part of the journey of being natural and exploring what exactly is growing out of your scalp for me is uh, almost on hold so I'm not super sad about it but it's kind of like do it on YouTube and make videos about I don't know what is this so I think I figured it out that I'm transitioning from heat damage, so we'll see how that journey goes. I'll try to record more. Bye guys.